Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about double double underscore main uh, and what it means in Python, kind of the two places it shows up and why you might want to do it yourself. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first, we're going to be talking about two ways <laughs> that main shows up. The first that we're going to be talking about is for running scripts and uh, differentiating between an import of your module and an execution of your module. And the second way we're going to be talking about is for adding executability to packages, uh, that is, folders that contain Python files in, in a.py and such. Uh, so first, let's talk about just runnability of scripts. And so if we make a script, let's call it t.py. If we put if name equals main, so this is the special thing that you've probably seen in a bunch of my videos now. Uh, but I never really explained what's going on here. So we're going to do that today. Uh, just have our very simple hello, hello world here. And so what this does is it makes it so when I run this script, it's going to run this code here. And the reason for that is, so if we do python3 t.py, uh, the reason for that is if we print name, this is going to print the module's name. This is a special global that gets initialized when we, uh, you know, when this module gets created. In fact, if we import sys and we grab our actual module object, because we can self-reference our module, we can do print sys.modules name. If we run this now, you'll see that uh, the module's name is double under main. And if we look at the module object, it has the name main, but it knows that it's from t.py. So you can actually figure out what your, your file is. Another one of those magic global variables is double under file as well. So you can see that it, it knows it comes from t.py. And so what this special if statement here is doing, it's a, it's a little bit of a hack. Uh, what it's doing is it's checking whether the module's name is double under main, which is the special constant that's given for the uh, module that's being executed in this case, or the script that's being executed. Uh, so even though this would normally be named t because it's t.py, it gets the special name main because it's being run on the command line. Now, if we instead did python3 c import t, so instead of executing this module, we are importing it, you'll see that uh, we get a different result for a double under name here. We get t instead, and it's module t from this. And this doesn't run because double under name is not equal to double under main. So it um, you know, skips this. So you could say, like, you can actually put an else here if you want to. Um, this module was imported. And so you could, you could have import only side effects. Now, import side effects are usually not a good idea, um, but you could do that if you really wanted to for whatever reason. Okay, so that's, that's double under main. Uh, that kind of gives you an idea of how these things. Uh, or how double under main here functions here. Uh, but this is not the only place that it shows up. The other place that this shows up is if you are making a uh, package or a, a module root, a, a folder that has init.py in it. Uh, so if we did make to my mod, for instance, and we touch my mod slash init.py. Uh, now, sometimes you want to make this module executable. Now, normally what you would do if you're distributing a package is you would set up a console script. So for instance, if we look at, um, you know, pre-commit has this setup, so we'll do it there. If we look at setup.cfg or setup.py, you'll see there's a console script. And this tells, uh, this tells the setup tools machinery, please set up an executable named pre-commit. And it should look at the module pre-commit.main and run the main function in there. And so this is how you would normally set up a bin script. But not all environments have access to these bin scripts. Like sometimes you might just install the Python source and not actually install any of these console scripts. And so you still want a way to execute this main function otherwise. And in pre-commit's case, that's done by doing python-m pre underscore commit. This is the name of the root module that ships with pre-commit. And if we you know, run this, you'll see that it, it successfully runs pre-commit. And the way that works is there is a module inside here called double under main. And this is the same, you know, the same double under main that we talked about before, uh, but it is a special module that lives here. And in pre-commit's case, it's just a simple wrapper around that other, 
you know, main function that we saw in the other file. I tend to prefer to not write any code beyond just import and run inside Dumbo in your main because um, it makes it harder to test. Also, technically, you can just you can leave this out and just run like this. And of course, if I'm doing my my new form of doing this, I would do this instead. And the reason you can do that is because the double under main module should always be something that you're running as main, and you shouldn't be importing this directly. Um, but let's go to our example and fill that out as well. So if we do my mod double under main, and we're actually going to violate that best practice that I just talked about a second ago. <laughs> we're just going to write code in here. Um, hello world, and if main equals main, raise system exit main. And so now if we uh, python dash m my mod, oh, and I didn't really talk about what dash m is in python 3 because we don't have python 2. Uh, this allows us to execute this my mod main.py here. Um, so what dash m is, is it's run a module. So it, it invokes a thing called runpy, which imports the module in a special way and executes it. Uh, basically, it, it magically sets the name to double enter main and runs the, the module code. That way. that way it works properly. <laughs> um, you can also use dash m with, the, uh, with just normal Python files. So if we do python dash mt, uh, you'll see that this also successfully runs the main entry of t.py, which just printed hello, hello world. But anyway, that's what double under main is. And in the two places that you will see it, one as a import check uh, for, for executing things as a script or as a module. And the other is if you are executing a package, a, a module that has a module that is a folder. Uh, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.